Hey guys, so today we are going to leave the vegetable garden and we are going to pass through these gates to head to what I like to refer to as Citrus Alley. This is where I grow all of my citrus, oranges, lime trees, and lemon trees. So you can see right here, these are two spectacular orange trees and unfortunately their season has passed. So really in December is when they are covered with the most incredible Satsuma mandarin oranges. If you wanna see what they actually look like when they are in full fruit, you can head to my Instagram feed and you can see a picture of them there. But one of my citrus trees that is fruiting at the moment and is really at the peak of perfection is my lemon tree. So let me go over and show you how to grow some Meyer lemons. So you can see I've got a lemon tree and full fruit. These are Meyer lemons, which actually are sweeter than a traditional lemon. I have read that that's really a cross between a traditional lemon and an orange, which is why sometimes when you zest them, they have a bit of an orange hue to them. So it's a pretty interesting fruit. I cook with citrus so much that I use them all the time. So we have taken uh, what is called a dwarf citrus tree because citrus trees can get humongous and we do not have that kind of space here in this yard. We wanted to keep them contained in a container. So if you have a balcony that's sunny that gets at least six hours of sun, you can grow these trees in a container or a planter like we have here. The other thing that's sort of interesting about it is because they're in planters and it's against this big hedge, they do need to be turned every year. So you can imagine, that's quite a project. That's my husband and three of his buddies out here wrestling with this thing. But that's why all of these lemons look so exposed, because this used to be the backside of the tree. So right now, when it's spring, all of this new growth will come in and it'll fill it out a little bit. But it's a great angle for seeing all of the lemons that we have here. Now, another thing to know about lemons is they are big feeders. They do like to be fertilized at least once a month, typically during their growing season. So I will feed them once a month during the months of April all the way to September. And when looking for fertilizer, I find it's better to just use something that's organic, that's made for citrus. So you'll see it, it'll say citrus food or citrus avocado food, and that's the best one to get. You'll notice when they're getting hungry, when they're not happy, when their leaves start to turn yellow. So here, this is a good one. You can kind of see how that is starting to turn yellow. It's because I have not fed it yet. So lemon trees are a little bit like babies. They'll cry when they need food or if they have not had enough water. That's the other thing you'll notice. Another nice thing about Meyer lemon trees is that they will fruit very quickly. So usually within two years of getting a small tree like this, you'll start to see lemons and they'll start out not looking like much. You'll get little lemons that'll look like this and it'll be totally green. And then as they start to mature and ripen, they'll start to turn yellow. And then every year, if you keep pruning it, like what we've done here, we've actually created a topiary design, which means you can see the trunk and then it sort of bushes out. Uh, they'll get bigger and bigger because Meyer lemon trees really like to be pruned. And anytime they get pruned, they actually produce bigger and more luxurious looking fruit. The nice thing about these trees is you can just keep these lemons on these trees until you need them. So rather than come in here and pick all these lemons and put them in my fridge, I really will just leave them out here, pick what I need, and then they'll last like this for several weeks, just hanging out on the tree. Now, one of the biggest things to watch out for when growing lemon trees are leaf miners. These are one of the peskiest little insects, and what they do is they bore themselves, the larva actually, into the leaf. You see this leaf right here? You can see it's being attacked. That is actually the larva of the leaf miner that is boring itself into that leaf. If you leave it untouched, it can actually take over the entire tree and really start to damage it. So here's what you do. You just wanna take these leaves off, the ones that have actually been attacked like that, and then to prevent more from forming, you wanna use some neem oil. So this is just an organic, natural product that when you spray, it creates a really slippery surface. So what that's gonna do is going to prevent more of the leaf miners from coming because they can't bore themselves into a slippery surface. Genius, right? You can also use this on other things like roses or vegetables, anything where there's insects that you wanna kind of have go someplace else, just give a little neem oil spray to it. Another nice thing about these trees that I love are the blossoms. So you can see they're just budding right now and just about to burst. When they do, this whole tree is covered with the most fragrant blossoms that for whatever reason only really come out at night. So right around dusk, all of these trees when they are in bloom, just perfume the air and it is so delicious and so spectacular. And a lot of times my kids will be out here playing and they'll remark upon it. And it just makes me think, you know what? Wherever they are in the world as they grow up, whenever they smell, an orange blossom or a lemon blossom, they'll think of home. So it's part of my psychological brainwashing. <laughs> 
And then my last tip for you is to add a little bit of mulch on top of your tree. So I really like some of this wood shaving mulch. You can also get some cedar mulch, which is nice, because what that's gonna do is keep all the moisture of the tree inside. So in the summer months, it gets really hot out here. And as I water that tree, all of that water can evaporate. And what can happen is that that tree actually needs more water than it actually does. So a good water saving tip is just to put some mulch on it and it'll keep it from evaporating quicker than if you didn't have the mulch. Now we are going to pick some of these fantastic looking lemons because I'm gonna show you how to make a fantastic lemon pound cake recipe with these beautiful lemons. If you wanna know how to make that, follow me to the outdoor kitchen. I'll see you over there.